pizza. No matter how you slice it, it comes in slices. And today, I, Keith Habersberger, the greatest human alive, will show you where to get the best pizza in Los Angeles. I guess Keith thinks he knows where the best pizza in LA is. Ha, I'm Ryan Garcia, and I'm here to show you where the real good pizza is. Keith, you've forgotten your roots, and I'm back from the past to bring you to now. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Brian. We're gonna show you the best pizza. Because it's made by a couple. Thanks to Car Gurus for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Let's get to it. Welcome to Tailgate Debate, where I, the internet's most notorious glutton, face off against two of my foodie friends in a restaurant recommendation showdown where only one can reign supreme. On today's Tailgate Debate, we're eating pizza. Welcome to another episode of Tailgate Debate. We're having pizza. I got some of my buddies with me. Let me introduce some of my friends to you real quick. This is actually my oldest friend in Los Angeles. He's an actor. He's a health nut. Welcome to the show, Ryan Garcia. Oh, hello, Keith Habersberger. Oldest friend in LA. I'd have to say that that is also true about you. So I moved out here to LA to follow the acting bug that has been in me since Keith, you and I we're doing some high school plays together back there at Nequa Valley High School. The brainless scarecrow to my heartless tin man. And now my other friend is probably my closest friend here in LA. We moved here together. We've actually been performing together for over 15 years. He is also joined by his lovely fiance. Please welcome to the show, Brian Wool and Alyssa Escarga. Hey, thank you so much for having us. Yeah, woo! Yeah. Now you have an amazing podcast with our mutual best friend, Mark Musinski. I do, yeah. Mark and I have a, a podcast called My Favorite Friendship. It's kind of like My Favorite Murder, but instead of finding uh, murders and going through the stories of that, we find friendships. Alyssa, tell us a little about yourself, what you do. I am newly engaged to this man. Very exciting. I've been in LA uh, 10 years now, and that's made me a little weird. Now I collect bugs, and I do bug taxidermy and bug mounting. When I first met you, I was astounded at the amount of bizarre taxidermy stuff, but also like beautiful insects that you have uh, in your home. I have a cat skeleton. Yeah. It's in my living room. Amongst many. I technically also have a cat skeleton in my living room, but it's in my cat flesh as well, in, in my cat. This portion of my video is sponsored by Car Gurus. Now, before we get into the debate, you're gonna notice that my friend Brian is driving Becky's old car, and honestly, neither Becky nor I really like this old car, and we've been thinking about getting a new one. But, you know, car buying can be stressful, not knowing how much you're gonna pay, how much your payments are going to be, which is why today we're sponsored by Car Gurus, which is awesome. Smart car shoppers already know that Car Gurus can help you find a great deal on a car, but now they can help you with financing as well. With CarGuru's financing advance, car shoppers can get a personalized financing offer and see their real monthly payments all before contacting the dealer. So you're armed with more information before going into the dealership. And I gotta say, that sounds about as easy as picking up some delicious takeout, don't you think? Other sites give you estimates, but why settle for an estimate when you can get the real personalized rate? There's no impact on your credit score and it takes only minutes. I think we can all agree car shopping is stressful enough. Why wait until the end to explore your financing options? When you finance in advance, you can contact the dealer with confidence knowing you have your financing offer in hand. Only 30% of cars get the highest deal rating, so when CarGuru says it's a good deal, you can rest assured that it really is. Find your car and your financing offer at CarGurus today. Thanks again to CarGurus for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now on to the show! So exciting for us to be here today. Today is all about pizza, and as we all know, LA is not really known for having the best pizza in the world, but that doesn't mean there's no good pizza here at all. And kicking us off is Ryan. Ryan, why don't you tell us about where we're going, what we're eating, and what you know about this restaurant. Where are we going first? We're going to John and Vinny's. I love this place. They've just got such an amazing spread of Italian meals, fresh ingredients, and delicious pizzas. They were having the little gnats and we're just having pepperoni, caccia cavallo cheese, and oregano. The ingredients are mm, oh, molto bene to die for. All right, Ryan, we got our pizzas. Look, first of all, look at the box. Wow. A beautiful box. A, an amazing box. Ryan, tell me what I'm about to experience here as I open it up. You can already experience the smell, which, oh my goodness. Look at the way Holy that the pepperonis are curling shit. toward you like they're begging to be inside your mouth. You know, I've heard of pepperoni cups. These are more like pepperoni lotus flowers. They really are. The char on the crust, the mm. pepperoni coverage, the cheese, also the fresh Parmesan that's dancing around the edges. This truly is one of the sexier pizzas I've ever seen in LA. Yeah, let's f***ing go for it. All right. Go for it. Okay. It's got a good fold. Okay, it's got that floppiness. Oh, that's delicious, you guys. This is like, when I see 
see like a Ninja Turtle take a bite of pizza and the cheese just like drips out of their mouth, this is the flavor I'm imagining. I'm getting a lot of oregano flavor. Yeah. And also, I like that the pepperoni has a little bit of spice, but it's not super spicy. I gotta say, it is greasier than it looks. I mean, if you have that much pepperoni, you gotta expect that grease is going somewhere. I like how light the crust is and airy, but it still yeah. has some flavor to it. It's like a pastry crust. Wow, the char is awesome. I mean, I took an especially charred crust piece because I wanted to really taste it, and it's really good. Yeah, the crisp from that is so nice at the end. It just feels like that pizza universe. You know, you're just drifting along the, through the pizza cosmos. Mmm, mmm, take me away. I'm gonna go with the chicken sauce for this one. Or the chicken sauce, give it a shake, dabble it on or dip it in. This sauce says it's also great on pizza. It is. When I was tasting it when we were first making it, trying to design it for chicken, but we had it on pizza just to try it, and I was like, holy shit, it might be best on pizza. Mmm, mmm. Wow. It ah. brings a nice citrusiness to the pizza. I was gonna say the tang that it adds to that. And it brightens it up. The chicken sauce is really meant to like assist something fatty to give it more depth. Kind of like adding salt to a sugar cookie, you know? Adding something that's on the other end of the spectrum actually helps you appreciate the flavor of what you got. You know another place to, a great place to add salt is in a cheap beer. Pour a cheap beer into a glass and you throw a little salt on that, Delicious. Ryan, you brought quite the excellent pie, and I admit I'm a little bit nervous now about my own, but I think mine's gonna hold its own. We're headed to DeSano's. Let's hit the road and get to the next pie. I love pizza. This could be what I do every day, and I'd still be excited. Actually, one of my first jobs as a teenager was at a pizza restaurant in Arizona. Yeah, which I one? Which one? At Little Caesars. Oh, yeah, what'd you do at Little Caesars? They were wondering if anyone would wear the Little Caesars costume. So, were you dressed as the Caesar, or were you dressed as a slice of pizza? The Caesar guy, the full you were on the like, Caesar pizza, guy. pizza. I was the Little Caesars guy, like the guy. It was great. I I loved it. I absolutely loved it. We gotta hear your best pizza pizza. All right, ready, ready, ready? Pizza, pizza. Yeah! <laughs> oh, <man>. yeah! <laughs> All right, we are on our way now to my pizza spot. DeSano's is a Neapolitan style pizza, but something that's very special about DeSano's that I love is it has a topping bar. That's right, it's got a little bar for you to get as much raw garlic, as much oil, as much spicy oil as you want. When you get that garlic on that slice, it is intense and I don't think you're gonna wanna kiss anybody anytime soon. You know, the thing is, is if you stink together, then you don't really stink to each other. When you're kissing, it's like, you're just having a second course. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, guys, we finally made it. Oh, it's so communal and open. I love a restaurant where the kitchen is open. To me, watching, it's theater. Did you guys get to peek inside the, the oven a little bit? I could see the logs stacked. Dude, yeah. I took a nap inside of that oven. Wow. This is the DeSano. Oh. It is pepperoni, sausage, buffalo de mozzarella. <gasps> I like the cut up pepperoni on there. Wow, this is a beautiful looking pizza. This is very like TV pizza. That's right. So let's dive in. Everybody just go ahead, take yourself a little bite. Wow. Mm. Whoa, yeah. so explosive. Yeah, the cheese blend is what's really making it stand out for me right now. Tasting that pecorino, tasting that Romano. I love the look of it. You can't even tell when the cheese stops and the bread begins. Yeah, the John and Vinny's pizza, like, it was maybe a little more beautiful. It had that visible char, it had those beautifully shaped pepperonis, but this, when you bite in, you're like, wow, I'm experiencing so much flavor. The cheese is so strong, the sausage and pepperoni blend super well. It's got the, like, char marks on the bottom. That's what, like, keeps it all together, is the bottom is nice and crispy. And Keith, you've provided us with quite a few accoutrements here. So we got some garlic here, we got some olive oil, we got some balsamic vinegar, we got some olive oil that's had the chili peppers soaking in it. It's really a free-for-all. If you want the spicy, go for the spicy, but then hit a little garlic, hit a little parm. All he did was open this small ramekin of garlic and it is Ooh, like a I just punch in the face. <laughs> the, yeah. the garlic is real. That is a lot of fresh garlic. Woo. All right, here we go. This is my decadent slice and I'm going for it. Go for decadence. That's a go for decadence. That's a go for decadence. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, that's stupid, but I loved it. It really resonated with me. <laughs> 
What I really love is how you can see how fresh grated this Parmesan is. Like you can see that yeah. it, it feels like it just came right off the grater. Try a little balsamic. A little goes a long way with balsamic, but really when you match the balsamic with the garlic and the Parmesan, it's just like, basically they give you ingredients. Got less sauce than I've ever seen. Both of these pizzas are not very saucy. In comparison to the John and Vinny's pizza, this pizza does not leave a lot of oil. Like everything is soaked up into the bread. Nothing is falling onto the box or out of my hands. Mm -hmm. This is a much cleaner pizza. So far, I don't know how to choose a winner. In the other tailgate debates, I've certainly had a really strong bias to my own place. I still do, but I was really floored by the John and Vinny's. I know that Masa is going to give us a total curveball. It's a different genre of pizza entirely. Some people in the world say it isn't pizza and f those people <laughs> it's it's more pizza than you could ever be all right we are on our way to our third and final spot this is Biwo's favorite pizza place Biwo, where are we headed we're headed to masa of echo park it was started by a couple rob and Rhonda. Uh, they are both from chicago for those of you that don't know deep dish pizza in chicago is not the default pizza in chicago the default pizza is thin crust pub style pizza cut into squares. I feel so confident about our choice. I am so excited to have these lined up right before the big finish. That's a cat skeleton Alyssa giving her stamp of approval. Powerful. The cat skeleton guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> a cat skeleton in your pizza or your money bag. We just got all our pizzas from Matza. First of all, let me tell you, I know it's hard to buy exercise weights right now in America. If you can't get yourself a five pound weight, why not buy a pizza? Oh my gosh. When you open this, boy, are you gonna get a greedy. It's heating oh. up the car. Oh my God. What yes. am I looking at? You're yes. gonna move a little slower after this. Like most Chicago uh, deep dish, we have the toppings on the bottom. The smell of this pizza is absolutely phenomenal. I will say, I think it's the ugliest looking pizza. The pool of grease is a little bit unsettling, but the aroma of this sweet sausage, the buttery crust, the gobs of cheese. Guys, the flavor of that crust. Oh, wow, that butter like you were talking about. This crust is what Pizza Hut wishes it was with its <laughs> pan pizza. And I love the Pizza Hut pan pizza. I think it's amazing, but this is true pan crust. Oh, wow. Buttery, flaky, salty. I need to say a little prayer before <laughs> I freaking eat this. The sausage is so delicious. It really is, and it's, and it's so different from so many other pizza places because most pizza places have their sausage in little crumbles. And this is just one. One large mm -hmm. patty. Is that what we were looking at? Was the you know, whole was the whole sausage patty on top? Wow. This last crust bite, holy cow. It's, this looked like the greasiest pizza of them all. I'm not tasting a whole lot of grease because I'm tasting the sauce and the sausage. So we're all doing two slices of this one as well, right? I want to, but I think I'll explode. What is, is this little bead here, is that oregano? Or what no, is that? No, that's a caraway seed. I bit into that. Throw awesome. your tears away, baby, <laughs> have pizza. I know. I'm just to the end right now now of the first slice and I can pick it up almost like a taco and that feels like that is its own meal, just this last bit. Alyssa <laughs> is trying to eat the pizza right now and it is melting all over her. I'm bad at this. The cheese on this is like, you know, in the Goofy movie when they like stretch it. I love this pizza. I feel like I'm in a battle royale to beat this pizza right now. This is definitely the hardest tailgate debate I've ever been in. Every single pizza, while I'm eating it, I'm like, oh, well, this is clearly the winner. But now, guys, it is time for us to get out, get on our tailgates, and debate. Ryan, you showed us John and Vinny's. Why should John and Vinny's win? I think John and Vinny's not only had the most visually pleasing pizza, but the toppings on the pizza, those pepperoni, were cooked to such perfection as they curled up on the edges and got that crispiness and the crispy crust to go along with it with that char at the edge. I have to agree that it was the most beautiful pizza of the day. I think it was the most plain of the day. That's not a bad thing. They weren't reinventing the wheel. I think when it comes down to, let's say you're buying a wheel, I don't know if I want to buy a wheel that's different than other wheels. I just want to buy a wheel that's the best made wheel. That's a good argument. So then I brought some DeSanas to our little car tables. The giant ovens, people shoveling out pies. It's the middle of the day and it was crowded. People love this pizza, I love it. I have to say their cheese blend was the greatest cheese blend that we tasted today. The crust, I know we disagree on this. I think the crust was perfect. I personally think when you need to use a lot of other toppings, then it's not just the pizza you're judging anymore. You're now judging the pizza as well as everything else. And then lastly, Masa 
Certainly the heaviest of the day. You take a bite in that pizza and your eyes open up. I got blasted with basil, tomato, and that sausage is a flavor that I have never had anywhere else. It is everything in one. You don't need sides, you don't need no mozzarella sticks, no salad. It is pizza, it is all flavor, and one slice will do the trick. I will say, if we're gonna talk about the ease of folding and eating to compare the other two pizzas, <laughs> that's where this one fails for me. I can't fold this pizza. I can't pick it up, fold it, and bring it to my mouth to enjoy. And as delicious as it was, it was hands down the ugliest pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and it definitely had the most flavor per bite of the day. It also had the most food per bite of the day. <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed all three. Even as I'm saying this right now, I don't know which one I choose. I, I, I'm, I'm so I torn. No. I've never been so torn, but if we have to pick only one, so let's say you couldn't have any other pizza ever again, what pizza is your favorite? I don't know what I'm gonna choose. It's gonna be whatever comes out of my mouth in a few seconds. We're gonna count to three. All of us will yell out our favorite pizza of the day. One, two, three. Masa! 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 Masa all the for way. Me. Masa all I said John and Vinny. I get it. I actually went with Masa. Oh my god! Wow! wow. What? And, and here's why. I'm someone who loves flavor. I love meals that are comforting and, and warm. As I get older, it's it's less often that I should be eating pizza. So if I'm gonna make it a sometimes food, I should pick the most sometimes of the food <laughs> and go with the deep dish. Even though it looked crazy and it was impossible to eat in the car, I had to give it to Masa. Hey, I don't disagree. This was a close race yeah. on all fronts, and I just wish I could call my significant other to come here and join me in a vote. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish I could helpful. stack with two votes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I wish I could stack my car with a choice, but congratulations. The winners get to dance while the losers look sad and clap for them. This has been Tailgate Debate. Let me know in the comments if you want to see Ryan or Brian and Alyssa back. Make sure you follow them. I'm Keith Habersberger. We'll see you next time. This is the pizza that you use to put down your children. They've been running around too much. Give them a half a slice of deep dish.